popular A900 interface. Nothing really special about it. Yep. But uh, obviously I can go and say let's launch one of the applications, the RSS reader. This is not an Android application in this case. This is a regular application. And I'm not really certain what it does. There it goes. But if I go to my list of applications, I can go and choose other applications which may be Android application. And an example of that here is that I actually do have Google Map running. And this is the Android Google Map. No change to the to, to the next file to the binary. It is actually the original stuff. And you can actually try it. I mean, <laughs> it is really quite solid. I mean, you can see here you have your menu. Um, How would you get more applications? Can you go to the Google market, and the Android market in the same way, or do you have to? My understanding is that the Google market is only for a full Android solution. So uh, obviously a developer can go and when he compiles an application, he can get uh, his output to go and be put on one of those devices. And uh, at the end of the day, the issue of how applications do go on the device is somewhat separate from our standpoint. Yeah. I think that we do see cases, for instance, where Device maker only do want a subset of applications. Other may want to go and work with Google to be able to get a, a wider set of applications. So on, on that front, this is really something which is independent of us. So I could write an application for Android and then without too much force get it running on Nokia, thanks to you guys. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think that in the majority of cases, it will run. Yeah. So you will not have to recompile specifically uh, for Alien Dabby. You just take your uh, DEX file, you know, your binary, you put it on the Android phone, and that's what we've done here, and it will run. So, I mean, I've got a, a few other applications. Let's see, yeah, for instance, a, a more complex one, which is the, the Photoshop for Android application. I mean, this is a complex application. This is not... Uh, and it's seamless, isn't it? It doesn't actually say, you know, you're opening up Dalvik or anything like that. Exactly. It's just another icon, yeah, which yeah. from the user standpoint means that it just appears as a regular application. And if you look at the performance, uh, let's go and edit that picture here. So you get the Android buttons and the Android. Yeah, and you know, when you look at it, most application frameworks are not that tight anymore. Uh, at one point there was a lot of obsession about the look of buttons or menu. <laughs> and then yeah. you find that, you know, applications all kind of look the same. It doesn't feel, uh, I will not say alien, that would be a bad joke. <laughs> it, it doesn't feel weird to have this in the context of this phone. No, no, no. Just because if you already look at phone, you find that developers will go and adapt the look and the functionality quite a bit. So you know, that's an interesting benchmark. I can, I can go here and change the tint of the image. And when you put it side by side with a, a comparable hardware running Android, the performance is identical. I was going to say, I can't see any performance dip at all. There, 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 there is no performance hit. This is really, and let's go back here and let's do something a, a, bit, a bit fancier maybe. Um, let's agree with that and let's go and change the geometry of the image. <laughs> no, this really feels like a quality yeah, yeah. It doesn't feel like uh, there's a layer between you and the device. This is you know, the real thing. So and I can go back here and launch other applications. Like what, what other applications you got? Google Maps and there. What else do I have? Let me launch a few here. Because you're, what, you're what? not able to tell which is Android and which is sort of normal Nokia applications on here, normal Symbian application. Wait, I'm still struggling a little bit with the UI of the N900 itself <laughs> once in a while. But, uh, let's go and, you know, for instance, I've got, what do I have? I have Dropbox. Yeah, yeah, Dropbox. Uh, yeah. I do have IMDB, Ruby, right? Uh, Evernote, uh, I have uh, the Twitter client, uh, docs to go okay. Photoshop, Chess, I did not try any of the others, so I don't know what they are, but really quite a set of applications, I mean, going from uh, games uh, to productivity.